Not enough nonsense in your life. Need a little more. More? Well, get ready, because these two have it in spades. Yes, the two Loose talk. What are you talking about? Nonsense. Even looser opinions. Is it fine? And you're along for the ride. Everybody strap in. This is The Burble with Benny and Az. And we're back for another week at The Burble. My name is Az. Hi, I'm Benny. And uh, another round of the weirdest shit to go down in the world. Well, we call it nonsense. That's, nonsense. What, that's what Darcy says in the intro, nonsense. Yeah, yeah, dumb shit too. We'll explain exactly. Look, if, you, if you're if you brand new to this podcast, thank you very much for subscribing. You can do that through uh, Apple um, iTunes podcast, the podcast app that's on your Apple phone. If you don't have an Apple phone, then whatever, um, if it's like Samsung or Google or a whatever Huawei, it is, a Huawei, um, you can can get us through your favourite uh, podcast uh, apps. For example, we're on Spotify as well. CastBox has us. Our partner in podcast crime is Spreaker. Download the Spreaker app because you can be opened up to a whole bunch more of different podcasts you can find all around the world. We absolutely love it. iHeartRadio. I do Heart Radio. I Heart Radio. We're there as well. And if you want to listen to us in 15 uh, minute segments, you can go to YouTube. That'd Absolutely. Good. And yep. just, just back to what you said before, um, I'm really, really privileged if you're here for the first time to pop your pod cherry. I promise to be gentle. <laughs> I don't know about Benny, but I'll definitely give you a, a smooth, warm, caring hand. If you're of age. <laughs> yeah, Remember, well, the, if con- you're at age. the content in this podcast is is a little bit blue. Yeah, we're going to need to see your licence and sign here, initial here. On the podcast this week, on the Burble, colourful British billionaire Sir Richard Branson has uh, unleashed a bit of a Twitter storm as by sensationally claiming that money doesn't buy happiness. Well, it can buy a jet ski or a Lamborghini, and I've never seen anyone crying in a jet ski or a Lamborghini. That's right. It can buy an island, for example, or a music company or an airline or have your own credit card company. Yeah. can buy all that just to make a little bit more. A fed-up resident has defaced their own wheelie bin after becoming fed up with neighbours using it for their garbage. What, do you put, uh, like, stumps on it like no. everyone else does? Or? No, we'll no. find out what they did about that. Right. Also, as well, uh, this one coming uh, out of uh, metro.co.uk, thank you very much, an on-the-run former model who claims that he's better looking than David Beckham has sent the uh, constabulary over there a selfie to help them with their appeal. He basically saw his mug shot online and thought, nah, I don't like that photo. So he sent them a better selfie so they can push <laughs> the better selfie as the wanted man. Well, you know, you've got to get your headshot out there, really, don't you? Uh, we're going to talk about uh, tax time as because uh, realistically there are some things that you can and cannot claim on your Australian taxation refund. Mm-hmm. People have been getting fruity with it for a lot of years, but they're <laughs> cracking down and everyone's running scared basically because they don't want an audit. Who wants an audit? Well, An audit, let me put it this way, would be like a, oh, how do I say it, um, a proctologist uh, doing an inspection. That's mm. what an audit's like. As this is a very sad story out of the United States, um, a an elderly woman who was all set to donate her body to science um, has, uh, well, in all good faith, and she's passed away. But they've been misused, Benny. The body has been misused. It's not a sick story. It's just very, very sad. Um, a bloke who got arrested for um, stealing motor vehicles has turned up the court and uh, will leave you hanging exactly what type of uh, transport that he took to get to said courthouse. As you brought this one, this is strange. I did bring this one, and, and look, it's uh, only been a couple of weeks since the 50th anniversary of the Apollo mission to the moon. Apollo 11. Apollo 11. Uh, there was a few others, but, you know, this is the, the money shot, really, isn't it, the mm-hmm. Apollo 11? There's been uh, an exhibit at the Ohio State Fair that combines, well, two of my greatest loves, space and dairy, but we'll get into that a little bit later. And finally, a warning why you should not sunbake naked. That's all coming up on The Burble. This is The Burble with Benny and Az. Richard Branson, Az. Now, mate, look, I understand that he started off his whole virgin uh, empire with just a tiny little record store somewhere in London in the 60s. Am I incorrect? No, you're correct. Yeah. It was called Virgin because he had no idea what he was doing. He was a business virgin. A little bit is, that the, is that the true story? Yeah, read his book. It's an amazing book. Yeah, do I have to? Mm. Okay. So, anyway, then he started his own record company. Yep. 
So he started recording artists that were in there going, it's too hard to get, like, well, how can I compete against the Stones or the Beatles? So he went, oh, I'll record you. Yeah. So he put, what, like, two-track tape deck out? Well, I don't know, four-track record etcher, burner, or presser, I don't know how they a did Cylinder records. recorder. Cylinder, whatever it was. There we go, I'm back there. But, he, yeah. He's um he's worth about $4.1 billion. So over here in, in change, that's almost $6 billion Australian, right? Yep. He's gone on social media to post a sweet photo of himself with his wife, Joan Templeman. She doesn't have to worry about money at all. But anyway, he captioned it, and he goes, I truly believe that stuff really does not bring happiness. Family, friends, good health, and the satisfaction that comes from making a positive difference are what really matters. Now, take that at face value. I reckon, you know what? What? His ideal behind it is sensational. But you know what? him he's got an airline he's got spaceships benny yeah this is this is part now of the avalanche of criticism countless twitter users (laughs) countless countless twitter users have used their thumbs in disgust against sir richard branson that's right he's a sir he's a sir that's Mm. right he is the 34th richest person in the uk has and he's 69 years old so dinner for two nice um he is so wealthy (laughs) That he owns his own two thousand nine two hundred and ninety nine thousand four hundred and sixty seven square meter island. Yeah, this f- got an island, private jet, mm. yacht, and a string of luxury properties around the globe. He's also expanded his business empire, as as we're talking about space in the last few weeks, yep. into space travel, um, space tourism. It's called Virgin Galactic, which aims to take paying customers into suborbital space. Okay, here's the uh, tweet that we're looking at right now. Look at the eyeliner on Joan's eyes there, and also, what is it with ladies these days? They've got to fake the eyebrows. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like road markings, and then they can change them every day. Yeah, well, you can tell if they're surprised or happy or no, sad, I well, guess. No, not with the Botox. If you add the Botox, <laughs> you can't tell exactly what they're well, look, doing. I, th- I think... Sir Richard needs a tad of Botox there. He's looking like a testicle. No, but he no, but let it go. All right, I yeah, think well, that because we're, he's we're sexy get, to me. He's got four getting, point seven billion. I'd marry him. Of course you would, bloody Grinch over here. <laughs> now this stash has arrived um, after. So he's even got Virgin Group Health and Care Services Division. Yeah, it's called Virgin Health. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about that for a second. <laughs> Just think about oh. that. Virgin Health. Has he got an offshoot called Virgin Gynecology? Oh, probably not. I'd like to look into it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think we may have talked about that a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, listen. So Chris Simmons, which is at Chris Glass 79 on uh, Twitter, has responded to this tweet saying, well, sell your private island and invest the proceeds into something that combats poverty, low education, attainment, and a lack of sufficient um, NHS resources, and then keep your trite and extremely tone-deaf platitudes to yourself. This type of tweet is beyond offensive. Hang on. Now, look, I get that people are pissed, right? Because he's a rich bloke that's got every toy in the world, and he goes, stuff doesn't matter as long as you've got family and happiness. Yeah. Happy days. But the problem is this Chris Glass 69 or whatever his name was. 70, he's 79. Oh, whatever. If... Richard Branson had come out and that tweet was the exact opposite going, stuff is f***ing awesome. I love being rich. How good is it to have coin? F*** the, f- the rest of you. Well, no, you don't even have to say f*** the rest of you. Just this Chris Glass would be like, ah, oh, typical rich bastard. Why don't you bloody do this? Like, Richard Branson can't do anything right in this point because someone's going to get offended, aren't they? Look, no, look, okay. I look, like the idea of what he's saying. Family and friends are really, really important. I, I, I enjoy the fact, and look, all success to him, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Now, look, there's been some business people over the years that have, have gone on to make themselves a lot of money and rather unscrupulously, okay? Yeah. With some really kind of, you know, they've, they've done it in ways that they shouldn't have done. And I'm gonna I'm gonna name somebody. Bill Gates. Hmm. Now look at Bill Gates. What did he pinch? Let's go uh, through the list. DOS. DOS, pinch that. Windows. Windows, pinch um, that. Where did he pinch that from? Xerox. Yeah. Yeah. The mouse. Oh no, sorry. That, no, was, that Apple. was Apple. Pinching that. Yeah. But uh, look, he pinched a lot of things and he, he also bought a lot of things that he saw would be good later on yep. or got in on the ground floor. But the thing is, Bill Gates kind of redeemed himself, honestly. Like he was one of the ten richest people in the world, but him and Melinda, his wife, have given away so much money, they've fallen off the 
that list. And that's grain. Yeah. And you they can't also take it with you. Yeah, they also have a compound. A the compound. size of a Westfield underneath their house in Seattle too, by the way. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. So you What know. do you reckon is in his compound? Nerds. Yeah, well obviously he's gonna need staff to, you know, maintain the the, the, the Probably servers. the T eight hundred. The T eight hundred. Yeah. Skynet. Is that no, but that all comes out of Los Angeles, isn't it? Mm, that's what they want you to think, Benny. Richard, back to it. Um, one person said, uh, Coffee Spoonie, at Coffee Spoonie, said, I can't afford my medicine, Richard. It's not his f-ing problem. Like, honestly. See, this is what I hate about people on the internet. It's like, oh, we'll just knock him down because he's there. Like, if it wasn't Richard Branson, it'd be some other rich dude going, hey, just be, be nice to each other. Like, if they read from the Book of Az, remember the stock cube of wisdom? If he came out and said, don't be a <laughs> like it says in my Bible, people would go, well, yeah, well, I'd love to not be a but I can't get medicine or something. And they turn it around. People just like to hate. No, they just want to do poor me. Yeah, poor me. The poor me thing. Poor me. Now this is where you might jump on board and start launching down Sir right, Richard Branson's right. throat. Several years ago, Mr. Branson copped criticism after revealing his primary residence was now on Necker Island, which is located in the British Virgin Islands, where income isn't taxed. Good on him. That's smart. That's smart? What did Kerry Packer say to that um, parliamentary oh, the, the inquiry poli- yeah, 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 yeah. a long time ago? He says, if you're not doing everything you can to minimise your tax, then you're a bloody idiot. That's correct. And look, I agree. We're going to talk about taxation coming up a little bit later on as well. But so, listen, this is what he does, okay? So we're talking about Bill Gates and his wife, Melinda, giving away a stack load of cash yep. for good causes yes. and things like that. Oprah does it as well. She's got that school for girls. She's opened like 30 of them in South Africa. And she gives people cars. And she gives people cars. But she doesn't give them rego or insurance and you're not allowed to take them unless you pay on the spot. But he's also <laughs> promised to give away $3 billion over 10 years to help fight the global warming spends the majority of his time working on virgin unite it's his company's charity sector which supports a number of causes and non-profits so i'm sorry i I think that it was a fair and valid uh tweet to put on there Mm. but just people just want to be you know thumb heroes keyboard heroes that they wouldn't say to his face they wouldn't say it to his face right but if you had a beef with richard branson would you say it to his face Come on. What what beef do I have, though? I don't know. Maybe he just... He, he, like R- he's Richard like- Branson comes out and says, your football team, Penrith Panthers, are the worst f- team in the world, and you just happen to be in Pitt Street Mall and he's there with cameras and shit. Would you weasel your way to the front and then confront him and say something about it? Just, just saying. God, yeah, I'd point the finger and go, you're a dickhead. And in Australia, in a democracy, we can do that. People have done that many times to many politicians. Mainly Tony Abbott. Tony Abbott, they have done that in shopping malls and stuff. You know, he goes on, he went on the bloody, uh, let's go shake hands. Yeah, and, and that old bloke just goes, you're a dickhead. You dickhead. <laughs> Love it. So, in the end, uh, what's the what's the true message out of this? People going off about Richard Branson. What from the Holy House of Az? What's the main message we need to remember in this sort of you know keyboard warrior world we now live in? Pull your f- head in and don't be a loose talk. Even looser opinions. The Burble. As your domicile, your bungalow. So to speak. The House of As. The House of As, so to speak. You've been, how long have you been there now? A uh, decade, I think. You've been in there a decade. All right. So you've got a fence, you've got a gate, all that kind of thing. Yeah, more or less. The bins live around out the, the side of the house. The so side of the nook. You've got a nook. And they're behind a gate, a lock gate. Uh, no, they're just behind a like a trellisy patio thing. But people don't. You've never walked to your bin to go put something in it and go, hang on a minute, what's this? No. Who, the, who the hell's throwing shit away in my bin? No, I usually do that to the neighbours. You do that to... Right, of course you do, because you're you. Yes. Anyway, it is a common problem, especially if you're living in, like, unit blocks, uh, complexes, things like that. Yeah, high-rise they, apartments. High-rise yeah. apartments, they just... Because they have their own bin area. Like, I know a friend of mine who lives in Sydney, in his previous premises, you had to go down to the bin and put it in, but it was, it was a designated bin, but it, it kind of wasn't. Because you go, well, my one's full or that one's full, so I'll just put it in that. Yeah. Who, who really cares? There was no bin police. 
there was no bin police, but they actually had come, someone coming in and actually empty the bins there in that level of the parking lot rather yeah. than putting them out on the street because you can imagine there would be bins from arsehole to breakfast. So what, just clean away or someone comes in and does the bins once a week or uh, whatever? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, they've, okay. got, they've got a modified... They've got uh, a bin valet. They've got a bin valet. Well, a fed-up resident has defaced their own wheelie bin after becoming so fed up with neighbours using it for their garbage. Now, a photo of the wheelie bin, which is belonging to someone from Unit 6 in a Sydney apartment <laughs> block, was shared on social media page, which is called... 